Hey, what's up, guys? It's Chai Long Claw here once again, and welcome back to the Long Claw Dynasty in Crusader Kings 2. Okay, so, you know, I went ahead and I watched over my last video, and I want to make some things pretty clear for you guys because I know most of you probably don't play this game, so, you know, this might actually become like a mini tutorial at the same time. Okay, so, if you'll remember in the last episode, we went to war with our liege. Okay, we pressed our claim for the petty kingdom of Wessex. Okay, so one thing I want to make absolutely clear is that a petty kingdom is the exact same thing as a as a duchy. Okay, so basically a duchy and a petty kingdom is... I'm going to go into my land over here and I'm going to go to a certain tab. So... This is the county of Dorset, okay? And if I select de jure right here, it will show me that. It will show me everything that is de jure a part of or what Dorset is a part of, okay? So, first of all, the county of Dorset is de jure a part of the petty kingdom of Wessex, okay? And what de jure means is basically, you know, what it rightfully should be a part of. Okay, so Dorset rightfully, you know, in history and shit, is a part of the kingdom of Wessex. So right now, since I am the petty king or the duke of Wessex, I have valid claims over Somerset, Dorset, and Wessex. Okay, and the petty kingdom of Wessex is de jure a part of the kingdom of England. Okay, so if you can see with yellow, it's selected in yellow borders right now. Everything within this is de jure a part of the kingdom of England. Okay, so if I was the king of England, I could go to war with all these motherfuckers and say that, hey, motherfucker, I'm the fucking king of fucking England, so this is my fucking shit, and I'm gonna fucking usurp that shit, okay? And as you can see over here, we have all the other petty kingdoms and duchies of England. Okay, so my liege has the... Or my old liege. Okay, he's not my liege anymore. If I go to a character tab, I can see above their portrait or above their character. If there's a person up here, that means that's their liege. Okay, so technically my character is independent. Okay, if I go over to some random dipshit over here, for example, the Prince Bishop of Reims, okay, I can see that his liege is King Louis the Stammerer of West Francia, okay, so, you know, this is West Francia right here, and one thing to mention, you guys, is all of these characters are playing the game just like I am, okay, they may be NPCs, but they've all got their own shit going, they're all trying to take land, they're all trying to do, you know, their big dreams, okay, and... Back to the Kingdom of England, okay, so the Petty Kingdom of Wessex is de jure a part of Kingdom of England because, you know, that's just how it is, okay, and Kingdom of England is de jure part of the Empire of Britannia, okay, so the Empire of Britannia consists of all of Scotland, all of Ireland, all of England, and all of Wales, okay, which is these counties right here, okay, this is the Kingdom of Wales, all right. So, my main goal right now is to form the Kingdom of England, okay? So, if I go over here to the Kingdom of England, that means that, first of all, I need to control 51% of the counties in de jure England to be able to form England, okay? So, right now it says over here, I only control 10%. I only control these three counties right here. So, I need to control a bunch of this shit, okay? And hopefully you guys are following along. And by the way, the it goes as far as the kind of the hierarchy, okay, uh, of vassals and shit. You got your mayors, all right, and you know your bishops, okay. These are the little shitty guys with the copper borders, okay. These guys are fucking dog shit, okay. They're just fucking lowly mayors, you know. They may be a mayor of a fucking city, okay, and they may have some, you know, they may have a nice lavish lifestyle, but, you know, really, they're just fucking shit stains, okay. Next on the list... We have an Earl, okay? I used to be an Earl, but I'm a fucking petty king now. So the Earls have silver borders, okay? And then the next step up from an Earl or a Count, 
they're also called counts, is a petty king or a duke, okay? The dukes have little diamonds in their shit, okay? And the dukes can have counts as vassals. Counts can only have mayors and bishops as vassals. And the next step up from a duke is a king, all right? And a king has gold borders, okay? And they can have dukes as vassals, all right? And then the, the there's one higher rank than a king, and that would be an emperor, okay? So we can go over here. This is the Byzantine Empire, okay? So if we go over to his capital, his capital, and we can see that the county of Constantinople is his capital because this big obnoxious fucking icon is in the way. So we go over here, and you can see his border has all sorts of fucking weeboo shit on it, and that's how you know he's a fucking emperor. They actually just changed this very recently, so I actually don't like the new borders that it shows, but... An emperor can have a king as a vassal, okay? So, this guy right here is actually a king. It says, uh, whatever the fuck. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that, okay? But this guy is basically like a king. Actually, this actually might be the pope of the Byzantines, okay? Whatever the fuck. I'm not exactly sure what the fuck's going on with the Byzantines, okay? Because we're fucking Europe, okay? So, now I'm gonna get back into the game a little bit, all right? So, if you'll remember, we usurped our liege, and we took the title Petty Kingdom of Wessex, okay? So, we're not in any wars right now, so we're going to disband this military over here, because we don't really need them right now. And one thing I forgot to mention is that we actually imprisoned King Aethereld, okay, our previous liege, because, remember, we had a claim on his lands, and we pressed that claim... He said, fuck that shit, you're gonna have to go, to go to war. So we went to war, we fucking dumpstered his fucking ass, and we put his little bitch ass in our fucking prison, okay? And you can do a few things with prisoners, okay? I could release him outright, I could ransom him off, or I could just fucking execute his ass, okay? And I might just end up executing him eventually, okay? So, you know, I'm gonna take a look at... The King Aetherald, okay, so he is now, he is now just this little shit right here, okay, I might uncheck the Dejure tab, he controls the Duchy of Kent, actually, I'm not sure if he actually has the Duchy title of Kent, but, you know, they, these guys are his vassals, okay, so the Count, the Earl of Surrey is the vassal of him, so he's still decently large, okay, now, the thing is, and I actually didn't realize this, but his heir, so every character has an heir, okay? And right now his heir is this guy, Alfred, and he's actually his brother, okay? And the reason why his heir is his brother is because he doesn't have a son. And I'm just guessing that the laws of whatever his petty kingdom will favor his son over, or his brother rather, over his daughter, so... His heir is actually my steward, okay? He's actually my culture, technically. So, what I could potentially do is I could take his heir and I could matrilineally marry him to one of my daughters, okay? And what that means is that basically under a normal marriage, so let's say my character and my wife here, we have a child, all right? So, we got our daughter dipshit over here. Dipshit's dynasty is going to be House Long Claw, okay? That's because the dynasty goes by the the man's dynasty, okay? So my wife over here, her dynasty is wealth, okay? What a dog shit fucking dynasty, okay? But, you know, her, her dynasty just kind of gets lost in our family line, okay? We now produce Long Claw children, okay? But if I wanted to, I could make my daughter, I could marry her matrilineally, okay, or however the fuck you pronounce matrilineal marriage, okay, however the fuck you pronounce that shit, okay, and what that would do is that would make the offspring of my daughter, that would make her children long claw, okay, which is my dynasty, that's exactly what I want, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my steward, okay, who is the heir to all of this guy's shit, all right? And I'm gonna arrange a marriage to him, and I'm gonna matrilineally... Actually, I'm, I have to arrange a betrothal because my daughter 
isn't actually old enough yet. And I'm going to go over here, arrange betrothal, okay? And since he's my courtier, he doesn't really have a say in this, okay? So he's kind of forced to play along. And I'm going to betroth him to one of my daughters over here. And, you know, eventually I might end up making my daughter my, my heir so that... Let me explain this a little bit better, okay? I'm going to betroth my daughter matrilineally matrilineally i don't know how the fuck you say that dog shit fucking word okay matrilineally to this dipshit who is the heir to all of this shit okay and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make my daughter my heir and then my daughter's children will inherit through this guy all of this shit okay so you know, this is sounding confusing as fuck, and I'm probably not explaining it in the best way possible. But you guys are just going to have to fucking roll with it, okay? So, and right now, really, there's not much else to do besides wait. I'm actually far over my demence limit, so I need to give away some titles. So I'm going to give away some of these cities, okay? So I'm going to go to find characters. I'm going to search my court, all right? And I'm going to find some characters in my court. That don't actually hate me that much. So we got this dipshit. He's actually my marshal. Okay, that's no big deal. And he actually has the content trait. So he automatically gains a plus 50 bonus to his opinion towards me. So that's great. So we're going to award him an honorary title. Or a, we're going to grant him a landed title. And we'll give him the city of Ilchester. Okay. So that's going to turn him into a mayor. Okay. And so he's now my vassal. So if I go over to my vassals tab over here. He is now actually going to be my vassal. And there's actually one thing I forgot to do. So, I'll actually deal with that later. So, I'm going to change my centralization in my laws. Every, uh, every fucking, whatever the fuck it's called. Every realm has its own laws, okay? So, the realm of the petty kingdom of Wessex, I can change my fucking laws and shit. So, there's a centralization law, so... If I want a bigger dement size, I can do that. But that's going to allow me, that's going to make it so I can only have a certain amount of vassals. So over here, I have 24 vassals that I can have. So I'm going to reduce that by a little bit, okay? But I'm going to gain one dement size, okay? So we're going to unpause the game just a little bit. So it's going to increase my dement size by one. But it's going to reduce the amount of vassals I can have. We had another fucking useless fucking dog shit fucking daughter. Okay. So we're going to name her dog shit. And this is actually kind of unfortunate, you guys. All of my offspring right now are daughters. Okay. We really need a son to pass on the family line. Okay. And then we're going to go over to our characters in our court again. And we're going to find another person to give away our cities to. So we're going to go over here, and this guy is also content, okay? He's also an Anglo-Saxon, so that's good. And we'll make this guy a bishopric, okay, or a bishop. So we're now we're now at an acceptable demand size. So when you're over your demands, you get less income and you have less military size, okay? So it's important that I keep that at the right levels, okay? And what, I'll do, what else do I need to do? There's still no heir to my dynasty, okay? And that's actually a problem because right now the laws, the inheritance laws, is primogeniture, okay? And it's set to agnatic, which means that only males can inherit, all right? So what I'm actually going to have to do is I'm actually going to have to change the laws to make it so that females can inherit, okay? So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to eventually set it to an elective monarchy, so... Instead of a primogeniture where my oldest child is just going to inherit everything, with an elective monarchy, my vassals will be able to vote on who becomes the next heir, okay? And I have a large sway in that vote, okay? So, you know, I'm just going to... I'm going to let some time pass. I'm actually going to grant out some titles. Actually, I'll deal with that later. I'm going to let some time pass because you guys probably want to see the game actually being fucking played okay so you know right now our military is recovering but we're gonna have a lot of troops okay 
we're actually going to go over here to Wessex and we are actually going to make Wessex the capital of my shit. Okay, so that's now our capital. So Dorset's no longer our capital. That's not that big of a deal right now. But, you know, I'm fucking trying to call the best CK2 players we've ever fucking seen. And right now, I really need my children to grow the fuck up. Okay, so I could get some alliances, so I could get some marriages going. Okay. And my marshal's doing a great job. Okay, he's improving the levy reinforcement. And my prisoner, because remember, this dipshit is my prisoner now. He's complaining, complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodations, but... No, we, we really don't give a shit about that, okay? So we're gonna just let him rot, okay? Because we want him to be in prison for fucking ever, okay? And this dipshit thinks he'd be a better spy master than my current one. So he actually has an intrigue of 18, and my current spy master fucking sucks. So I'm gonna say, yeah, go ahead and be the fucking spy master. Okay, nothing wrong with that. And we're gonna send him over here to the fucking Byzantine Empire. We're gonna have him study their technology, all right? And we're just going to let some more time pass. Okay, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to see if this little shit over here, he only has one ally, okay? And he's a, he's a child right now. So what I could do is I could go to the Petty Kingdom of Cornwall. But I'm actually just going to go to the County of Cornwall and I could click this Claimants tab. There's no claimants to it. So I'm going to go to the County of Devon, there's no claimants, so what you can do in this game is you can find people that have claims t to land, and you can press the claim for them, and they'll be your vassal, okay? So, you know, unfortunately, there's no claimants that are down for that, though, okay? So we're just going to let some time go by, and we're going to fucking rule this bitch, you guys. This game takes a long time to play, alright? And here's another part of the game. One children lack a guardian. So every child can have a guardian, okay? And the guardian determines, you know, what type of stats they get. So we're actually going to go here. And we're going to educate our child. And we are going to educate our child ourselves. And that's going to allow us to shape the stats and the traits that she gets, okay? So she's being educated by us. And we have weak claims that we could press, okay? We could press claims against... You know, East Francia and West Francia, but that's realistically never going to happen, okay? And finally, my fucking wife is pregnant again. And this little fucking shit over here just fucking declared war on me, okay? And he's going to... He wants to, con the, to conquer Somerset, and we might actually be fucking fucked, you guys. We might actually have to summon a massive fucking military, okay? So, I predict that we're actually fucking fucked, all right? And he's going to have a big, grand old fucking military, alright? And we're actually going to let him siege that shit down a bit, because we're actually going to have to spend all of our fucking cash on mercenaries. We might actually end up losing Somerset, you guys, and that would be rather unfortunate. So, word has reached me that an ambitious adventurer, Bozon, is gathering men for some sort of attack on my territory. Well, you know what? That fucking sucks, so... I think of assassins, so we might actually have to make a big play, you guys. We might actually have to find an ally, okay? So, right now, let's see what the Dutch America, there's no one we could really ally ourselves with. All of these fucking shit stains are already fucking married. We might have to marry someone's daughter, okay? And, you know, the king of West Francia might have some unmarried sisters that I could marry for a nice little alliance, so I'm gonna go over to my mercenaries tab and I'm gonna see how big of a force I could raise, so it might actually look like I'm fucking fucked, you guys the church preaches celibacy and my friends try to lure me into hedonism by showing me the pleasures of life I can't really decide if I want to enjoy life or if I well, you know, we're a fucking sex crazed fucking Fiend. Okay, so we're gonna try some fucking pleasures and we're gonna fucking pound the fucking dog shit out of our wife's pussy, okay? And we're gonna make some nice little offspring, okay? And, you know, these Norse shits are really gonna have it coming. They're really pissing me the fuck off right now, you guys. So we got some adventure threats. This shit stain is gonna try to conquer my shit, okay? You know, unfortunately, my children are all underage, so I can't marry them off yet for any alliances, and we finally have a fucking son, you guys. We fulfilled the ambition to have a son, 
we have an heir, okay. And we're going to name him Feces, okay. He's going to be... He might actually not be our heir, because if our betrothal with this guy starts to pay off, we're actually going to make our daughter our heir, so that we can inherit all of this shit. And, you know, we might actually just have to, you know, forfeit Somerset over here. And there's not much we can actually do about that, so... You know, we got defeated, okay. He's sieging our shit down. Dipshit was supposed to work on our embroidery. But she clearly fancied another kind of pin. Her sword, her swordsmanship was not too bad for a girl. So this is our daughter. So, you know, I don't think there's any harm in letting her learn how to use a sword. So she gained the brave trait. So we can go over here and she earned this trait. And that's going to increase her martial. This is actually a really good trait. Okay. And, you know, hopefully... You know, we, we might actually just be fucking fucked. I'm going to be honest, you guys. We might actually just be fucking fu fucked. This guy's sieging down her shit. And, you know, we're actually just going to surrender to this guy, okay? And, you know, he's obviously going to accept it. And he's going to gain Somerset. So he really just went up in my shit. Really conquered the shit out of us. And that's actually a big problem, okay? So we actually have two counties now, all right? But, you know, that's okay. Shit fucking happens. At least we're a petty king, okay? At least we're an independent from any other fucking shit stain, all right? And the next time he tries to do that, hopefully we'll have a decent amount of money saved up to hire a ton of mercenaries to really fuck shit up. So we need a new count or a new marshal, okay? And this guy, the heir to that fucking shit, okay? And it looks like he actually... That's actually me. That's actually not the heir, all right? That's actually some other random fucking guy that had the same fucking name, Evil Wolf or whatever the fuck. And we need a new ambition, so we're going to set our ambition to become the king of England, alright? And, you know, we're just going to keep letting time go by, okay? Let's make sure all our court, our counselors are doing shit. So we're going to have them train troops, our dog shit chancellor. You know, maybe we'll improve dif diplomatic relations with this shit stain over here. So we'll get him to like us, even though we have him imprisoned, okay? And... You know, all our counselors are doing stuff, so we're just going to unpause the fucking game, okay? And, you know, this might be the kind of slow part of the game, alright? But we're really just going to let a lot of time go by so our daughter can come of age, okay? And our marshal is once again doing a great job. He's really training the shit out of those fucking troops, you guys. And let's see what this guy's up to. So, this is a petty king of Dorvik, okay? So, this guy's Norse, alright? And his allies are the chief of Northumberland and the chief of Dunholm. Okay, so... You know, just a fucking... Just a little bitch. Just a Norse fucking piece of shit. Okay, a fucking pagan motherfucker. And, you know, Scotland is going through some revolts right now. So, hopefully what will happen is Scotland will unify eventually and we'll get them as an ally. And... You know, the good thing is we do have a lot of daughters to marry off for some allies, okay? And, you know, the king of Lotharingia set up an anti-pope. Okay, we, we don't really care about the pope right now, okay? My wife is pregnant once again. That's great, okay? This whole fucking shit stain, Boson of Boson's host has declared his conquest of Wessex, okay? So he's actually going to try to conquest us too. So people won't just get off my fucking dick right here. I'm just trying to let the dynasty fucking grow, okay? And it looks like he doesn't actually have that many troops. We're actually just going to hire some mercenaries to fucking deal with this little fucking shit stain, okay? So we're going to hire some mercenaries. It's going to cost us a lot of gold. It costed us 225 gold, okay? But, you know, it's not much we can actually do about it. And we're just going to take this little fucking bitch out, okay? I don't know why I'm losing the battle, but we're going to summon some more troops, all right? And we're really going to take this fucking faggot out, okay? And we're going to merge this army... And he's going to be running away from us, but he doesn't really have anywhere to run, okay? So, we have another son, okay? We're going to name him Shitlord, and that's going to be great, okay? It's great to really be able to spread out the dynasty. So, we're going to take this army out, and we won the war, so we're going to disband all our shit. 
And since we won the war, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna offer him peace, and we're gonna enforce our demands, okay? And since this little bitch tried to fucking fuck with me, he's gonna get impri imprison uh, imprisoned, alright? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna banish him. And actually, I don't know why it's not gonna give me any money. Maybe that was a recent change, but you used to, if you used to banish people that declared conquest over you, it used to give you a ton of cash, so... That's actually really unfortunate. We lost a lot of gold over there, but, you know, there wasn't really much we could do about that, okay? So, you know, my daughter, my daughter is a charitable little rascal, and, you know, she's turning out pretty well, okay? So, she's charitable, she's brave, and she's fucking betrothed matrilineally to this little fucking shit stain who happens to be the fucking heir to all this shit. So this fucking idiot is gonna have children that are of my dynasty and they're gonna inherit the land okay and our other daughter shit stain needs to be educated so we're gonna actually educate this daughter by someone who has decent stats okay and you know actually we'll just educate her ourselves once again and we're just gonna keep letting the time go by okay we're gonna have to build up our wealth again our fucking wife is pumping out fucking babies like, no fucking tomorrow, you guys. So, once again, everyone's trying to get on my fucking shit. And I'm just gonna envy all these fucking dipshits, okay? And, you no, know, we're kind of just waiting for our daughters to grow up so we can marry them off. We can have children, or they can have children. We can get some allies, okay? And eventually, we will reconquer our land, okay? And we have another fucking daughter. Alright, just non-stop fucking daughters, you guys. So, what can we fucking... You know, we're gonna name one of our daughters... Banana Slam Jamma. Okay, and we're gonna see how he turns out. Alright. And she's gonna be great. Okay, she's really gonna be the... She's gonna be the main... You know, shit stain that everyone picks on. Okay, because we have a lot of fucking kids. Alright, they're all gonna pick on BSJ. Alright, so... I had to break up a fight between my daughter Shitstain and another child today. Shitstain's heart is filled with envy. So, you know, the other children are just selfish, you guys. They're fucking dog shit. They don't understand the... The power of the Long Quad Dynasty. Patience is a virtue, but sometimes it gets on my nerves. My daughter Shitstain never loses her temper. And by the way, the reason I'm getting all these pop-ups is because I'm her ward, okay? So... You know, she, she's becoming patient, okay? And, you know, I want to bring out the fire in her. And we're going to see what that does. I'm not sure if that actually did anything, okay? So, just going to keep letting time go by, all right? And eventually, I'm going to change it to elective monarchy. But I have to have reigned for at least 10 years. So, I started in 874, I guess. And we won't be able to change that until 884, okay? So we're just gonna unpause the fucking game, okay? And Jesus Christ, this bitch will not fucking stop having children. Alright, but this is gonna be fucking great, okay? And these fucking Norse shits. Looks like these Norse fucking shit sins took over a bit of Scotland as well, so. You know, the court chaplain of Wessex is doing a great job. And we're just gonna keep letting time fly. This might be boring for you guys. But it does get more interesting. My daughter dipshit makes sure everyone gets exactly the same amount of whatever sweets the cooks give the children. And I'm fucking proud of her, you guys. She's going to be just because of that. So she's going to get the just trait. So she's actually going to be a really good heir. Because brave and just makes it so that her vassal or vassals will like you. So you know, if I go over here and I hover over my vassals, you know... If I had Brave and Just, this little dipshit's opinion of me would be 40 instead of just 20, okay? So, you know, once again, Chalon Kwa, the best CK2 player this world's ever fucking seen. And how old is this daughter? How old is dipshit over here? She's already 11, okay? And we have another goddamn fucking daughter, okay? And we're gonna name her Shithole, alright? It's a nice creative name, and a waste of money, a waste of time, but oh so good it felt. The pleasures of life make everything feel less tiresome and more delightful. And 
you know, we're just going to keep going with our lustful nature. And we're going to keep fucking the shit out of our fucking wife. Let's see, how old is our fucking wife now? She's 31. So, you know, she's going to be old and used up now. She's pretty fucking ugly, too. So, you know, we might actually, we might actually make a big play, guys. But, you know, I'm going to actually save that for the next episode, okay? So, stay tuned for the next episode of Crusader Kings 2, The Long Claw Dynasty. I'm Chalon Call once again, signing out.